to Mrs. Tally from Events of the Channel and today I'm going to give you my review of Denise and Ferb the movie Candice Against the Universe, the newest Disney Plus original movie plus the first ever animated Disney Plus original film. Oh. After repetitively trying to bust her brothers, Phineas and Ferb, can Candice thinks that the whole universe is against her. But when she's abducted by aliens and taken to an alien and it let as by super super big doctor, so Phineas and Ferb, with the help of their friend, Malji eat Buford and Isabella, as well as Dr. Doofenshmirtz, because Vanessa was taken as well. Oh, they have to go, they have to go and save their sister. The before, or an, or an attack could come to us. So, I want, so I want to say I'm the biggest Phineas and Ferb fan. Heck, I just, so I've watched the episodes of Snoozles recently to so understand what the show is about. But I would say that I do did hurt here a lot. It's a good, from what I've seen, most of the episodes are okay and it is a pretty good show. It's just not my thing. It, though I am pretty disappointed with the last movie thing as well as did, which was Across the Tech I mentioned. Not a bad movie, yet it just felt like an extended episode. Oh, this one is... Well, it feels the same as as across this and people mentioned, only it's better. So with the characters, they really don't... That's got to be one of the biggest criticisms. They really don't offer much when it comes to the characters. Or did they... To tell us in this movie is that Candice, this is, is the girl always trying to bust her, her brothers, but then and it becomes the chosen one. Uh, and when she she's abducted by aliens, Phineas and Ferb are the two fun loving brothers who like, like building inventions without their parents know, even knowing. Their friends, Balji, Buford, and Isabella, just come with them in order to help save their sister. The, and Doofus and Donald Stevens have potential to be a great character. So, without him trying, I, I, I'm not to take over the world, out on the dry, dry state area, and help save. Ave the good his daughter Vanessa. So, so but he um but he really really ended up being the goofball of comic relief so far for the movie. As for the new characters, the only ones the film focuses on is just super super big doctor. So, he who becomes Candace's friend and but but she might not be watching as as out of all the characters in this film um she's she's probably the best one she, uh, she's got a true personality to every, everything thing she's doing when i know exactly exactly what must be done in her opinion And yes, the actors do, do a really good job, like, like returning actors, those that came back to do the sh back after not doing it for five years, and new actors for new characters. So, just, I wouldn't say the characters are the best thing of this movie, but at least they have a little charm for them. No. And. I could say another good thing I do like about this movie is the songs. Um, at first, I thought with we hearing that it's going to have like 11 songs, meant this was going to be a musical. But as I get, guess I'll get the goodness about 
the songs out of the way before we get to the wrong parts. The good things about the songs are e easy like most of them, them, them um, are pretty fun and enjoyable. Like, like such a beautiful day is the open canal that that has Candace thinking in that she's gonna have have a good day and not worry a lot about her breath. Whereas Rita Leader is the introduction song on the super super big ducks octa. Uh, adulting is is a weird kind of duet between the in in the uh, Doctor Hines Dinkins Finsmart and, and Isabel that that's actually a bit fun and this is our battle song and it's the song on that bit of some brother and their friends in, in order to help their sister yeah. and us against the universe is the big ending number which is easy the best song of the film. Hell. No. Yet the big problem with the song is that there was one that actually had potential. That song being, being the universe is against me. Yet, yet in the film itself, it only lasts 30 seconds. And if you want an extended version, just wait for the, the credits or, or like a full version, the soundtrack. It is the real disappointment. But, however, I guess that I, there is something really, really good about it. Okay. No, it's all perfection, but at least you get that's a good song. And the same can actually be said when it comes to the story. Yeah, the story in this movie is really good. They offer a nice, interesting thing, idea yeah, to the movie. Of what if Candace was the hero of the film, and it works. They really make Candace an easily a bit more likable, or when and the story comes, they they have this like like a big adventure in order to save the world, world and the universe. Uh, especially when Mo with Mothra, Candace thinks that the universe is against her. Admittedly, yes, this part of the story can have its problems. Like, like certain parts of the rescue do easily do feel really predictable. Like you can expect them to happen. And and, and sometimes the story tries to focus on its characters, but. At the time it tries to focus on them, they kind of they could have been a better focus on them. Um, and I guess that is one good thing to say about this movie. It has a nice animation. The animation they offer for the movie is is a nice style. They offer so much creativity, especially out of space. Isn't it? They use so much creative possibilities, especially with the character design. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the old characters this and, and the old characters, but some of the aliens look really nice and I some pretty cool, cool in my opinion. They share the same colour green it love green, yeah, that kind of getting on you. But they do pretty well. Uh, so overall isn't it isn't the best adventure for these brothers, brothers but I can't can't say I didn't come out of it rather please. Phineas and Ferb the movie Candace Against the Universe is a pretty good good, good film. Um, and, and as the first animated this original movie go, it's it's, it's not perfect. Act but with some ideas that can be predictable and the old characters could have been better but it does make up up for it 
it was it, it was a pretty enjoyable story pretty good really good songs and great animation at most i'd recommend this more for phineas and Ferb fans because they are mostly going to be the ones that are going or if you want to see the, these fun loving step brothers come back with their friends then you'll probably get, get a good kick out of this as for the rating i'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 not a great movie but it's, it's definitely something i would i don't want to be busted so i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you next time